Now let's see why this thing popped. Six. She dead. See, that's, that's what's causing that thing to short out right there. Gotta have the crusty dusty uh, jumper king. <clears throat> I can't find my regular popper that you plug in here for the, the fuse. So that's why I. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> that's why I grabbed a couple additional fuses after I saw that make sure those are dead and we're gonna jump out why and see if this sucker because that that resistance on that contact are super low so we'll just go this is 24 from the transformer I wonder why Oh, there you go. So that one popped. That's, that's what's good about this thing. That pop, okay. Now let's go another. <laughs> let's do that again. So let me go ahead and re-disconnect this to see. Maybe I didn't wait long enough. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think I'm getting the black lung pop. I might have put a bigger fuse in there too. That's probably the other reason. So. Yeah. Jumper King for the W, bro. Definitely that contactor. Uh, yeah, this is a three, ain't it? Yeah, that's a three amper. And I'll put in a five. So, all right. Simply put, anytime I see a pop fuse or a blown transformer, my first logical thought is to go straight to the contactor. Seen it enough times to where it's like, start here at least. I don't know what the exact range is. I know there's a big thing, but I go to like, it's either like 10 to 20 is pretty solid. I think 14 is usually like perfect on a brand new one. We'll open up a new one and we'll double check it, but let's grab that contactor throw it in there get this lady cooling because it's gonna be in the 90s coming up soon so let's check it out but first field pulse man y'all already know i like to integrate field pulse into everyday business so if you're a small business owner someone who does side work don't tell nobody a big business owner anybody like that you should definitely consider field pulse you should be using field pulse to streamline your business operations improve customer service and overall improve profitability who doesn't love more money right with real-time scheduling dispatching and mobile access field pulse makes it easier to manage jobs and technicians on the go it simplifies invoicing quoting and payment collection that way you get paid faster and with detailed reporting and easy integration to other softwares you'll have better control over your business and be able to make data driven decisions simply put field pulse helps your business run smoother and smarter Click the link down below. Now let's get on with the video. All right, let's put this bad boy right back in there. Let's see. All right, so simply, there's a lot of ways you can obviously do a contactor. I mean, it's pretty straight freaking forward. Uh, biggest thing, go ahead, and what you're gonna wanna do here take a picture that way you know for your reference in case you forget but just know you know we got our common our run right here right common is on the run side over here of the contactor we're dead and then you got a fan down here so 
that that's all you got and then since this is just a straight cool and it's not a heat pump you just slap these on it doesn't matter which way it goes but let's pop this new one in all right so this is a one and a half uh shunt i only had a two pole so that'll have to do for now but let's go ahead and check what our ohms are on this thing we had 1.6 right and now we're gonna get yeah 14 so that's generally where i see new contactors coils at so yeah let's go ahead unscrew these like i said we're dead we're dead one screw those bad boys Show enough. Oh yeah, you smell that? Smell it. Oh, stupid shit. Look at this fucking idiot. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna get some uh, I'm gonna get some spade connectors on this and connect it to the bottom. Nope. But since these were already on the terminals and they're tight, I don't need to crimp them back down. Let me go grab my terminal kit. I lied. We're just gonna end up putting these. Let me put these right back inside of here. There it is. Everything wired back up in her glory. So what we'll do, we just have the power off right now. I'm gonna go. Oh my God, what? So what I'll do, we'll go ahead, turn this thing back on, and we'll jump it out, see if that contactor pulls in, and see what's up. Boom. Pulled in, so. Great success. All right, let me button everything up. And that's gonna conclude today's video, y'all. Simple contactor, right? There's little things can call this call this. There's little things can cause destruction. So, like I said, instantly, generally, when I see a pop fuse or like a blown transformer, I'm just gonna head straight to the condenser, man. Just because whatever. But to put the jumper king on there, I like to utilize it. I know everybody you can get the short pro tool, you can get the little popper. Works just the same. But jumped it out fuse popped okay that let me know one i only have one wire going out there anyways two wires but 
yeah man um don't forget to hit the links down below man all that good stuff's in there and if you could smash the like button consider subscribing all my subscribers y'all already know man i appreciate y'all and i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one later